a recently acquired new permission where I'm only allowed to use sub 12 air rifles mainly because there's horses next door and I've got to be quite careful not to spook them too much there are quite a few rabbits here so I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna get off the mark pretty quick there's still plenty of daylight so I do have to wait around for a little bit just yet but I'm gonna go get myself into a prone position wait it out and see if the rabbits will want to come and play ball. And it doesn't take too long at all. This is probably about five minutes of lying down on the floor. With a road relatively quite close to me and walkers going by, they're not massively phased when a car or a person walks by, as long as you don't get too close. First one down, that was uh, approximately 50 yards. It was that tiniest, tiniest touch of hold over. Uh, they all seem to have started now, so much way out. Two down in relatively quick succession. Then I just noticed to my hard right, there's about three rabbits running around. So trying to be as discreet as possible without being noticed, maneuver myself and get ready for a shot. That went absolutely perfect. Was that one, two, three, four, five? I've got five already. He's brilliant using sub 12 because they're so quiet. I prefer a side on shot. Looks like I misjudged the distance, but fortunately, I can just see it lying down to get myself a second opportunity. No mistake that time. Just aimed a little bit of hold under, and then I absolutely planted it, but there's another rabbit with those three dead ones. This rabbit just seems a little bit curious as to why three of its colleagues are down on the ground. Try getting its attention with a lip squeak so I can get a clear opportunity at it. I 
I think I'll just have to play the waiting game for this one, as it's too busy inspecting. The rifle that I'm using is an Air Arms S510 in 177 sub 12, shooting Air Arms Diablo Field in 8.4 grain, and on top is a Hick Micro Alpex. Seeing as I've disturbed the piece, I decided to go and retrieve the three rabbits that are down in this direction. Once I've collected those, I'll go off into the opposite direction to my right and go and collect those four. Whoops, sorry about that. So after that little flurry of rabbits, and the pile nicely increasing, I'm walking off down the field to a different part, and that's where I come across a rabbit just behind this tree in the next field. So I'm trying to line myself up onto this wire fence without being spotted. It wasn't made very easy due to it swinging about. So I had to try and time my shot just right. I'm having to use half a mil hold under here. And I've got to say, I was really happy with that shot. It wasn't a great distance, it was roughly about 30 yards, but still, swinging off that wire fence in this wind as well was quite a challenge, just to time that trigger just right. So I'll quickly retrieve that, and then we'll move into a different area. That one was not far at all, pretty much right in front of me. And I'm just there. It's really close. Ran off, but I managed to get one. That's another three to add to the pile, and I'm pretty happy with the way it's going this evening. Okay, so a lot of the rabbits have gone to a neighbouring field, and I don't have permission there, so nothing I can do about that. I'm gonna stay a little bit longer, see if I can just get maybe one more, and that's where I'll call it a night. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, this was not a clean hit. It was bouncing about and it's flicked off into the hedge. When I went to go and see if I could retrieve it, 
just down in here in its burrow I could actually see it was dead just at the bottom when I shone a torch down there and it's just out of arm's reach confirmed kill but can't quite retrieve it so I don't want to end it on a rabbit which I can't retrieve I don't have to wait too long and another presents itself and we get our last one for the night That's what I'm going to call it on this brand new permission. Managed to get 12 in total. That's a really good result. There's still plenty more rabbits about, but they have gone on to a neighbouring field, which I don't have permission on. But I'm sure these rabbits will make their way back onto these fields the next time I come up. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out some of my other hunting videos, and I'll see you on the next one. So cheers for watching.